10.2b factor trinomials with two variables. Be aware of other variables when you're using reverse FOIL or as we've been calling it trial and error. Oops, we need two R's there. So in example one notice that I've got a y squared as well as an x squared. What that means for us when we factor is that when I do my two boxes I need to make sure that I put a y in here as well as having the x term. After that everything factors the same. We have a negative here so that means we're going to subtract Are outside and inside. When we look at 12, we're going to think about 3 and 4 and 2 and 6. 2, there's only one way of factoring, which should be 1 and 2. Now here's some one of those things to be aware of. No matter where I put 2, if I use 2 and 6 for factors of 12, I am always going to have a common factor. So that means that one's pretty much out. We're going to cross that one off. We're going to use 3 and 4. So I'm going to put 3 and 4 in. My 2 cannot be in with my 4, so we'll put it in with my 3. That leaves me with my 1, which we will just put it in here just for emphasis purposes. Okay, so now we're taking, we're subtracting, we're taking the difference. So we have 3x minus, or actually 3xy, sorry, minus 8xy. When I take the difference between those two, we are going to get a 5. And we do want to have a negative 8 because we want a negative 5. So that means we're going to put our negative in front of our 2 and our positive in front of our y, or 1. So that means my answer for this one is negative 2y, or 3, sorry, 3x minus 2y times 4x plus y. And we're done. Let's take a look at our next one. Notice again that we have an x squared and a y squared. So really what that all that means is that when I do my boxes I really want to make sure that I get that y in my boxes. And we will have the x also. When I look at 6, first thing that comes to mind is 2 times 3. And for my 10, 2 times 5. So I'm going to put 2x and 3x. I need to be aware of when I, where I put my 2. I cannot have it in the same box with my other 2. So we're going to put it in the same box with my 3 and put 5. We are adding, I forgot to do that, we'll take a look at that. We're adding our factors and it says that here that we're going to have negative in both of those. So let's see if we get 17. We've got 4xy, a negative 4xy, and a negative 15xy, which would give me a negative 19xy. Hmm didn't work. So we need to look at something else to get our trinomial factored. We can't shift, shift our 5 and our 2 so what that means is that we're going to look at this differently and we're going to look at um, our 6 and our 10 so what I want to do is erase what I've got. We know we're still going to need our y's. So instead of doing 2 and 3, let's just do our 6 and our 1. Okay, so we put 6x and 1x. I can't have 2 in the same box there. So we're going to put 2 over here in the other box and we'll put 5 in with our 6. So let's see what we get. We get 12x, 
y, a negative 12xy, and a negative 5xy. That adds up to be 15, or 17. So guess what? There's our answer. We have 6x minus 5y, x minus 2y, and we're done.